Hey, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, whatever have you. Um, today I was taking a look at uh, check engine light and I was trying to figure out how to induce a P0300 DTC P0300 is a random cylinder misfire and I couldn't get it to work as far as giving you a good test situation but figure we could mention a few things to check when you come across the P0300. The P0300 as opposed to others now in this case uh, Serenity's engine has four cylinders so the possibility is that you could have P0301, 302, 303, or 304, which refers to an individual cylinder problem. P0300, on the other hand, refers to a, a general problem. Now, depending on the way that you look at it, it could be more or less um, easy to, to diagnose because... If you're looking at a single cylinder problem well then let's say let's say if you were looking at a p03 p0301 then you would only be looking at cylinder one so you would check spark plug cable number one uh, maybe spark plug number one uh, maybe uh, the fuel injector number one and if those things didn't pan out, then you would probably go into doing a uh, cylinder leak down test or compression test, but only on cylinder one, perhaps comparing it to cylinder two, um, just because it would be easier to do it all at once. But on the other hand, a P0300, P0300, P0300 referring to a, a, a general random misfire, could be easier to diagnose because then you're looking at a systemic problem not just an individual problem so instead of if you have a random misfire p0300 looking at one and three and two and four or if you have up to 12 cylinders depending on the vehicle instead you're going to look at general things that affect the entire engine so you know that you need three things to run an engine you need oxygen well it, that is air and fuel and spark and so in this case how likely is it for this type of a coil to to go bad on all four at one time it's probably not likely but was it misfiring in the rain or was it misfiring early in the morning in that case, dew or rain could be shorting out perhaps a, uh, a worn out spark plug boot or a worn spark cable or anything like that that would cause spark to jump away or jump from the coil straight back to ground and then it's not going to fire the engine. That could be a systemic problem. If you've got individual coil on plug, it's probably not the issue because each one of those coils refers to a single cylinder. Uh, another systemic problem might be the air intake measurement. So if you've got a map sensor and your map sensor is going bad, that would affect the whole system. Or if you have a clogged fuel filter, that too would affect the whole system as opposed to just a single cylinder. So when you're looking at P0300, Make sure that you're looking for systemic problems, things that have to do with air for the entire engine, perhaps uh, idle air control, a map sensor. Um, if your engine has EGR, check EGR flow. If you have uh, overall fuel trim codes, those can also help steer you in the right direction. Perhaps, uh, you know, if it was the uh, fuel filter, then you would probably have, you know, a clog, clogged fuel filter with lower pressure in the whole system and possibly lead to a misfire. Uh, similarly, uh, this one has a uh, vacuum driven um, fuel pressure regulator. If that goes bad, 
then it's going to suck. It, I've, I've seen Volvo engines, uh, older ones, suck fuel right through the diaphragm into the engine and flood them out. Um, what other issues? Uh, this one, I know I, I already know I have the purge problem. This purge valve under here I have to replace because it's leaking. Um, if you've got excess fumes coming in through the fuel tank, that's excess air. It's unmetered air, which means that it is throwing off fuel trims and it could, could lead to a general misfire. Um, any other issues I can think of? Um, think about vacuum leaks. Like, okay, we already mentioned the vacuum leak at the purge valve. Um, at the, if, if your car has a vacuum brake booster, if this goes bad, it's going to suck in unmetered air and could lead to a misfire. So just to, to round things up, to remember, if you're looking at an individual misfire, P0301, for example, well, you're only going to look at one cylinder. That might be easy. It might not be. It depends on what goes wrong. On the other hand, if you're dealing with a general misfire, random misfire, is P0300, then you're going to look for systemic problems that have to do with air for the entire system, fuel for the entire system, or spark for the entire system. And that about sums it up. I hope this help, I hope that this was helpful and uh, keep uh, keep tuned, stay tuned for other other mishaps, other diagnostic tools and ideas on diagnostic trouble codes. Okay, have a good day.